Hello, we are so glad that you are considering being part of Student Council at Daniel High School. We think it's a great school and we're really looking forward to having all of you join us next year. I'd like to go through a couple of things to help you understand how we do things here for incoming freshmen. It's a little bit different and so we want to make sure you understand the process. The first thing I want to show you is this is the QR code to our Google site. All of the links that you'll see um, in this presentation today are on the site on the elections tab. They are also on the Instagram link in bio, but just in case you're not on social media, this is another good alternative for you to find that information. Um, so let's talk about campaign requirements before we talk about like how the campaigning works. The first thing you will all need to do is have teacher recommendations. Um, I will send out that request, um, whether you're at YLA or Edwards, I will make that request um, of your teachers, have them evaluate you, and they'll get that back to me. It's just a Google form for them to click, click, click and be done. Um, but that's part of the process. The other part is an application that you are responsible for filling out. Um, it asks you some questions about what you're like as a student, what you're like as a group member, what you're like um, when it comes to like showing initiative. Um, do you always have to be told what to do or are you good about finding out, um, finding something to do productively to support the group's um, goals? So those are all important questions, all important elements of student council, um, the way that it works at Daniel. That application is due no later than Tuesday, April 18th by noon. The next thing that you have to do that's a little bit different is you have to have a petition of candidacy. We at Daniel High School believe that student council is all about building a community within our school. We wanna make sure we are building a supportive, inclusive community for all the students. So that means that we want you to be reaching out to all the students across your grade, not just your friend group, not just the people in your classes, but the people in all the classes across your grade um, so that you know what people like, what they enjoy doing, what the what their preferences are, so that we can make good informed decisions as we plan activities for the coming school year. So you need to collect signatures from 50 of your peers. That is also due Tuesday, April 18th by noon. Now, you guys don't have access to me to just drop that off. What you can do is take a picture, send it via Schoology. My phone number's at the end. If you need to text it, that's fine. Just make sure you put your number with it. Um, if you need to take a picture and email it, no problem. I'm here for all the creative ways of making that happen. It just needs to be here on time. Um, a link to the petition is here and the a link to the new member application is also um, here with those QR codes. Again, those are also on the Google site that was on the last link. All right, so this is what the petition looks like. Um, yours says, they all say third period teacher. Just have them list um, an English teacher. That'd be great. That's maybe somebody that I know. If you're at YLA, I know Ms. Fine and Mr. Christopher. I can reach out to them if I need a point of contact or have some follow-up question. If you're at Edwards, just list, have them list the English teacher because I can communicate with them pretty easily. They'll just print and sign their name and grade, print and write their name and grade, sign it, and then write that, fill in that last column. Boom, easy, done. All right. So as far as communication, until you're, until we're in the class, um, we will use GroupMe, which is an app um, that you can access on your phone, but you can also access it on a computer. So those of you who may not have phones yet, this is another, that's another viable option. If you have a family computer, um, you can just log in and use it there. No problem. Um, but if you are going to use it on the phone, you absolutely have to download the app. So once you have been cleared to run, once I've got, I've received your, um, application and your petition of candidacy, um, you'll be added to the group me. Um, once you've read the information that's there and there will be a message posted, you need to like the message on group me. It's just clicking a little heart. If you have not received a message or have not been added to a group by Tuesday at four o'clock, you need to text Mary Catherine or Anna their numbers are here and let them know that you haven't been you haven't 
um, been added. So we need to figure out one, did you not turn something in and mean to? Was there some glitch? Is there te some technology issue? Or did we just leave you off? Sometimes it happened. Excuse me. Whoops. Okay. So how will you win? How does this work? What in the world is a democratic lottery? If you're interested, there's an episode of Re revisionist history that you can check out, which is where I got the idea. But the idea is you guys are all coming from different environments. YLA is a much smaller school. Edwards is a larger school, but you come from different situations at Edwards with the smaller elementary schools and a larger elementary school. It's there's sometimes not a clear balance or fair balance when it comes to um, elections that Daniel as in getting like a fair representation. So we want to make sure everybody this first shot out that you all have the same like equal opportunity. So you're all going to do the petition the application and you're all going to have good teacher recommendations. So all the people who are have all of those things are going to be put into a drawing and that's what's going to happen. So that's how it works. We literally will take of all the applicants that we have, we will just draw from those applicants. It's that easy. It gives everybody equal access and opportunity. Once you've been selected into the class, um, it is a class and it we're, it runs both semesters, so you might be in the career center first semester and can't do it then, and you can then you can take it second semester. The when you take the class depends on scheduling. Ideally, we have veterans first semester and new folks second semester. It doesn't always work out that way. Um, one, two, and three are scheduled simultaneously, so there will be a big mix. It is a project based excuse me, a project-based class. In the fall, we typically do spirit week, club fest, lunch, semi-formal, and then we like lay the groundwork for some of those spring activities, which um, this year has included a lot of different things, but talent show, we're doing lip dub, lots of splunches, constituency lunch. We've done some um, lunchtime activities like painting we worked on today. So a lot of different things that we have going on that you guys are responsible for planning. So it is very much driven by what you are doing, how you are, um, the work that your group is doing to plan these and execute these activities. So it requires, going back to what I said earlier, a great deal of personal initiative. There's not going to be always somebody telling you, you need to do A, B, and C. You're going to have to develop that list of things that you need to accomplish during the class period, whether with your group or as an individual. And so you've got to make sure that you are self-motivated and you are capable and ready to take on that level of responsibility. So class expectations, and this is all part of meeting those requirements and the things that I'm going to ask your teachers to speak to. Is your attendance good? Um, that's really critical at the high school level. You shouldn't have any seat time, but at the middle school level, um, you should have consistent attendance. Um, are your grades solid? Do you have mostly A's and B's? There might be an occasional C, but we're looking at A's and B's. Why? Because student council takes up a good bit of time. It does take some time after school. And if you aren't maintaining A's and B's with out having that extracurricular, we're worried that you might not be able to continue to maintain those A's and B's if we're adding on something else. So we want this to be something that supports what you're already doing. We don't want this to take away or to hurt what, what you're doing. We don't want it to cause you, you know, your GPA to suffer. Um, academic integrity is really important. So cheating or anything like that is grounds for dismissal. It's happened before. I don't ever want that to happen again, but we have heard such good things about your class. We're very optimistic that you're going to be amazing. We're really looking forward to you being here. So I don't think that'll be a problem, but just want to make sure that it's been said and that you know. So that goes just for something as simple as copying homework all the way to pulling an essay off the internet. We want to make sure that you are practicing integrity in everything that you do, but especially related to academics. Finally, you've got to have a clean disciplinary record. No suspensions, no ISS. If there's an issue that we need to resolve, be upfront with me about it. Let me know if there's something that happened. Um, let's talk it out. If you think that there's something I need to know or something that's there and, and you want that resolved, 
um, or want that, want to talk that through. Um, but let me remind you, it's not just in school, your out of school behavior has impact on this as well. We've got to make sure that what you do represents a whole group. And we want to make sure that everybody is representing um, student council well. So failure to meet these expectations may result in removal for the class. And if that happens, then you get a WF and that stays with you forever. You can't get rid of that. But that's not going to happen. So if you have questions, you can email me. You or a parent may also text me. Um, Mary Catherine and Anna are available to answer any questions from a student perspective. That's all I have for you right now. Don't hesitate to reach out if you've got anything. We are really looking forward to having you. Can't wait to start school next year. Have a great week.